What's up guys? This is the Rofman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Napoleon Total War Let's Play as the Swedish Empire. So to pick up where we left off, we have a Spanish army that's advanced up towards Toulouse. and We haven't yet fully replenished our forces, but we are going to advance and take the battle to the enemy. They have a significant number um, of cavalry. They have two generals in command, and they have a a reasonable infantry force with a couple of units of guerrillas that they might deploy to harry us but i think we definitely have the strength to take them on and destroy them so let's take out this spanish army because we want our spanish front to be fairly secure because we do want to uh, push down into mainland spain fairly soon and i do have some other plans for uh, further to the east but i don't think we have to worry about that just for now uh, let's deploy our long 12s here. Our 6s are going to follow up our main line as usual. Let's create a bit of a basic front line. I think my overall tactics seem to be working quite well. I mean, not that, not that there's much ingenuity in Napoleonic warfare, necessarily. Um, but I think, well, it's not that different to Empire in the grand scheme. Deploying my howitzers, they're going to follow the front line up. Group units together. I should turn that off, I keep forgetting. I wonder where their militia units are. Good to know though, it does mean they're further extended out on the left, on the right, than I thought they might be. They will have, or they will probably have their guerrilla units deployed ahead of the main force. Let's speed up during this initial phase, because right now nothing seems to be happening. My 12s can't engage at such a range. Hello? There's an enemy cavalry unit. Two enemy. Ah, that's one of their regular units. Hello. You've exposed yourself and you chaps are running around all too much. Hello, I hear a cavalry charge. Fear not, my infantry are more than ready for the task. Ah, my we go, my twelves have opened up. Going after the enemy cavalry, they're not got three cavalrymen off the bat. It's pretty good. But my main line continues their advance. So the sixes generally in my armies are starting to fulfill more of a interesting cavalry artillery unit on the flank. We could go after. But let's try and keep some consistency. The whole idea of advancing my, my flanks up to provide that Square coverage for my cavalry seems very useful. So the howitzer can unload here. Keep advancing up my infantry because we we have the opportunity to do so. So the guerrillas are going to deploy stakes. There's a unit of volunteers on the flank. My, ca my group cavalry is doing pretty well. Their, their cavalry is getting caught up in the redeployment of troops to, into the centre, which would be good because my. And then my howitzers fire at Will. Poor old Will. Okay, you chaps might actually have to do a bit of jogging to catch up. Come on, horse guards. Charge into my line, you know, you wanna. So our first deployment of cavalry against the second regiment of horse. We're getting hit by their guns, so let's advance up our front line. My light infantry are engaging. My cavalry I expect to beat theirs. 
On the right flank, we got some cavalry charges. Ever so kindly waited for our... Okay, right. Pull you guys back. Light horse, go after General Staff. Get all of our units to drop into square, just in case the 11th folk to try a similar sort of strategy. Pivot my infantry on the flank. You go after the General Staff, advance up our cavalry. You can't do anything light infantry, so run into the centre of the nearby square. Enemy cavalry has been defeated, so advance up my line. Howitzers are providing good fire. The horse guards have abandoned their move. Get my chaps out of square. Who's that? Line cavalry to the rear. Okay. Get one cavalry unit to engage the artillery because they're starting to hit my troops. You men hit the line cavalry. That might be a bit dodgy. Advance up my horse guards because it looks like the cavalry has abandoned the right flank. Now their musket battle begins. So I will want these dragoons, once they've knocked out the artillery, to pivot to fight the line cavalry. You men need to hurry up a bit. So my troops on the right are doing a good job. You men should start to engage. There we go. Okay, advance into the enemy horse guards, although I don't think our chances... Well, I mean, our dragoons are not... They're not bad cavalry, but they're quite elite. They're quite elite. Okay, let's try to get my heavies in against the guerrillas before they deploy stakes. And let's advance my infantry up in response. My cavalry may be about to break, but not after completely routing the enemy. So let's bring our cavalry back so they can recover. The fourth light horse have routed, but I don't anticipate that being a permanent state. My horse guards on the right are going to beat the gorillas. Like I anticipate that unit will probably come back. It's just because they are Exhausted. Well, kind of exhausted anyway. You men pivot, because you're not all going to shoot into the flank of the foot guards. So advance at my heavies on the flank, get my howitzers to keep dropping shells in the centre, because their line are very kindly advancing. Actually, let's get you men to trot towards the light cavalry. They've successfully broken. But I think the Spanish line is uh, a bit, a bit uh, in trouble. The Grenadiers are under fire, the 12th are under fire. My horse guards are upset, but the general staff is right there and we've got him into combat. So that's the right flank disabled. Now you guys just trot after the guns. You men kill the general's bodyguard. Try kill the general because this is a field battle. It would be nice to kill their commander. Got him. Mr. Coronado. Jose Coronado. He belongs in a museum. Again, my Dragoons can chase after 12-pounders. There we are. Okay, my 12s can cease fire. The targets are a bit close. My General advance up into the centre. Bring my Cavalry back into the game. You men might wrap because you're under fire and you're not actually in the best position to shoot straight ahead. 
advance my cavalry up to support this engagement. So if we can knock out the 14th regiment. There we go. Now they feel better. Okay, you men redeploy. Hello. We've got a foot guard unit come back into the mix. So let's trot my horse guards over there. That won't affect these guys too badly. Okay, there we go. So you men begin to create a wedge into their line. Our men are running for. And that's this unit, the Varvade, understandable. You men take their position. They've lost half their number. That's quite significant. So let's get my cavalry in against the 14th Regiment of Foot, the Voluntarios. As a result, you men cease fire. Allow my cavalry the honour of charging. Okay, there we go. Go on, horse guards. Horse guards versus foot guards. Might be a bit of a toss-up, actually, because my guys are not happy. So let's see if I can get my cavalry over there. There we go. So that's the volunteers. Destroyed. So now this flank can advance like so. The Varvade infantry are back in the action, so let's begin to march them back to the front line. You definitely want to chase down these foot guards. The Eamon pivot against the third foot guards. Grenadiers, Regimento de Toledo Veterana. My 12s can try and engage them. Nope, they're out of range. The men of fatigue, sir, are must rest You can engage the second regiment, that's not bad. Okay, let's begin to bring you back into the action. The enemy are beginning to recover. Okay, let's actually take you guys carry on fighting against that unit. You actually support this unit in pushing against the right flank, because that's where there's a significant component of enemy troops. Make sure some of our other infantry back here are running to surround and attack the 22nd Regiment of Foot. Let's bring you guys back, stop you guys getting surrounded. Especially when we know reinforcements are coming in from the left. They are good looking units. The morale is pretty good. Ooh. Artillery fire may well see the end of the, of the third foot guard. Bring my Varvade infantry back into the mix. Line it from tree. Ah, you guys are taxed. Well, I turned you off fire at will. For a good reason. So the eleventh regiment of foot who fell back at first can open can pour a volley onto the third foot guards. The very infantry that caused them to rout at the start. Okay, there we go. So now we see the enemy line 
is not going to be around for very long. So my foot Jaeger stay back as reserve. It's very valiant of the foot guards to stand as well as they have done. So these are grenadiers. We don't necessarily want to get, go for them. Let's pick, fix my heart target. I mean, if we can make them route, that would be great. Which we might actually be able to do, because they're already wavering. Oh, they're shaken now. Okay, now they're wavering. They're exhausted, which is going to be what uh, doesn't do them any good. Yeah, there we go. The Grenadiers are routing. My Dragoons are doing a huge amount of good. Get my 12s to retarget against the Toledo. Veterana, 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 a hey, Veterana. Okay, see so this these troops. Position yourselves ahead of where the routing enemy may return from. If you men bunch up like so, you should get a bit of better uh, fire onto the enemy infantry. They are steady for now, but they will increasingly become unhappy. Yeah, I could say my coverage chase those chaps down, but I'd rather give them a, a good rest. Especially this Dragoon Regiment that's now experience level 6. Morale 66. They've got more morale than my general does. Significantly higher morale than my guards do. So good. So much power. Alright, now all my firepower is focusing on... There we go. See, that's the kind of thing I expect to see happen. Actually, my, my cavalry can try and go for them as well. Their morale's very good, so we are going to trot towards the Grenadiers then at the last moment. Charge! They charge because they're starting to form a defensive position. The Toledo Regiment have routed. So let's bring you guys in to charge the Grenadiers as well. There you go, they broke anyway. Good stuff. So there we go, that Spanish force has been destroyed. Curious to see which way it goes. Does it go east or does it go south? Ooh. Oh, I didn't retreat very far. But still, it slowed up my advance here because it's going to take us a few turns to recover. I don't want to push the force out of Marseille in case they try and go east. Um, but also, once we finish this engagement here, and obviously once I've put Kessel under siege, this area is pretty secure, so then I'll be looking to send forces down to attack Innsbruck and also secure Luzerne, cross the Alps, and hit Milan from the north. And then when I hit Milan from the north, that's when my Marseille garrison will get unleashed to attack Torino to isolate that French army there. I mean, we will at some point. How weird is that? My iPad just... Stupid thing. Um, turned on. <laughs> uh, okay. But yeah, so you will be deployed to hit Torino once we've sorted out this issue here and advanced south through Sweden. Switzerland, sorry. I've done it the opposite way before. Um, yeah, Siege, Torino, Milan. Once you've secured that, we can... Well, I want to secure... I want to attack Innsbruck, Milan, and Torino in one move. Then our force is ready to advance on Venice, because then that will be the end of the Russians... Well, the French, sorry. Well, actually, no, it won't be. They got Corsica. I'm going to attack Palma. So this is going to be difficult, because we can't actually recruit that good of a navy here. Although we can get hit there in one turn, which is comforting. Because um, our naval forces take forever to recruit, because we only have one shipyard capable of recruiting these big ships. So just I may as well just keep stacking them up. want to get a full fleet, deploy it, because around the world I've just been deploying individual ships to protect ports. Um, but then what I've also got is... I mean, you could run for Pamplona... But I'm pretty sure it's a problem with the 
public order. But when I push for Pamplona, I would like the force in Toulouse to be in better shape. To push for Barcelona and maybe even have another army in here to make sure I don't... Well, I deploy an army in here so that I can ensure no armies push through the gap here. But also I can then sell them on to take Palma and Corsica in follow-up actions. So we do have an army here being recruited in Stockholm. So it's going to take a bit of time. One of my uh, well, my transport ships are being deployed back to Finland to transport more um, troops across. Because then we also, once we've secured the Iberian Peninsula, that's when I think we want to turn... Well, these forces are probably going to look north to attack Britain. So I'll end up moving them back to Normandy to jump across the channel and attack London and then kick off a great war. And why I like that is it means I can keep recruiting armies to bolster my front line in Europe because that will be a significant action. I hope they can't get Castle. Good. I hope you can't get Castle either. Good. Because I want to have a fairly good front line ready for the war against Prussia. It's possible we declare on Britain and none of the Allies get involved. That's entirely possible. But even so... Oh yeah, they're still trying to reinforce their armies in the front line. So they're going to go north around Marseille. Ooh, perfect. So you've tried to do the old switcheroo. You're going to ah, do some raiding, you scallywags. Let's not do anything about that yet. So you, who got caught out, go after that army there. You guys... Yeah, raid the small arms factory, then hold here to prevent them from moving west. We have a French army under Emmanuel Villeneuve, but we do have Finn Pyle with his fairly... Um, Oh, fairly weak, uh, informal army, and I've got two. I've got no howitzers. That's not a good move. Um, unless the move is to form a defensive line and attack the, uh, or let them come to me and bombard them with artillery fire. That could be a way to do it. Hmm. But yes, let's retake Castle from the Spanish to prevent the damned. Um, the damned Prussians from ruining our fun. Okay, the Finns are going to deploy on the right flank. My and Delta plus the guards are going to deploy on the left. The Finns don't need the guard, but they're going to get a unit of light infantry. There's a bit of extra support. This is this terrain is abysmal for artillery, so. Just send some sixes up with both armies, I suppose. Combine light and heavy cavalries together. This army will very much be requesting howitzer support. My general is going to follow the Finns. Because I think howitzers are just the better result. Well, they're the better option, I think. Let's get my horse artillery up. Get my cavalry up. Oh, this the, the Spanish force that's arrayed against us is very small, so we've not got to worry too much. Keep our cavalry pushing up. There we go. That's everyone moving. So let's get the let's get things sped up because yeah, there, there's a very small army here standing against us. The only thing I was curious about was if they would move to try and counter us somehow. But this is the only high ground, so I think our 12 should go up here. I mean, our 6s just don't have the range to do anything useful, so all we can really do is get the infantry up and slam the flanks shut. They might have guerrillas deployed in these buildings. There we go. 1st Regiment of Horse Cavalier de Linea. Well, push it all you like, good sirs. Because you know what's going to wait? You know what's going to be here waiting for you? Form square, form square, 
and you two form a square. <laughs> Part of me has to wonder if the AI logic doesn't doesn't take into account lots of the factors that have changed with Napoleon Total War 3. Because a lot of the see your lances, so you will do damage off the bat. And then you will suffer significantly in the following engagement. So keep attacking them, because they're trying to do, do as much damage as possible to the units we have within range. Then push on into the third Horse Guard Dragoons. We have a General Staff unit advancing on the flank, so just charge into them. So now we have a cavalry fight. The 3rd Horse Guard Dragones versus the 12th Horse Guard Dragona Regimente and the Lata Dragone. So my light cavalry I'm expecting not to do so well, but we do outnumber them considerably. So let's just take all the infantry and just push them up like that. We have killed their general, sir. Enemy general's been killed. Regroup my cavalry, because you have a regiment of horse unit that looks like it might be making some headway. There we go. That's the horse guards. Broken, but not shattered. They may return. The lancers, well, they're flirting with coming back, but let's just make my cavalry regroup. Try regain some stamina. Because that's just a regiment of horse. These are both two horse guard units, so let's advance you guys up. Push the cavalry up the left flank. The infantry don't have anything to worry about. There we go, my heavy cavalry can attack the 8th Regiment of Horse. I think... I think this, this army with all these howitzers might be a good... Well, quote unquote, good army for a defensive battle. I don't think it's very good for an offensive battle because you end up leaving your artillery behind, and if the battlefield is flat, then you struggle to get the fields of fire you need. Yeah, the Lancers have come back. When this regiment of horse is. Defeated. Let's push that cavalry up around the other flank. It looks like the Lancers are going for my formation over here, but hopefully they should recover some of their stamina. So you men that are currently deploying in the nose of the action, if you like. See, the first regiment of horses coming back. But they're going to get slowed down by their infantry. Oh no, they're going after my heavy cavalry. Good for them. New men counter charge the lancers. So the men on the flank here. You're engaging the 1st Regiment. You men are advancing. You men go after the General Staff. You men advance. You men advance. There go the Lancers. So bring my cavalry in towards the rear. And there goes the line cavalry unit. Form up. It's like I, I believe the militia will not will likely not last long. The enemy looks like they've elected to not deploy their artillery as comprehensively as they could have done. 
unit of grenadiers is looking like they're going to try and escape. Well, not escape, but fall back. Really? Just let my gunners just open up on the cavalry. Well, my infantry open up on the cavalry, I should say. There we go. Let's then group the heavy cavalry together again. Ready to mop up this unit of grenadiers. There's only 106 of them. They look pretty good, though. It's probably easier to just bayonet charge them. So, just pick an infantry unit. To mop up each artillery unit. March you guys forward, to ready to engage the, the engineers. Well, the engineers. The Grenadiers. I mean, the militia's not going to last long. Obviously, the cavalry's not going to last long. Although, my guys are very upset. There we go. So that's a whole battery of enemy cavalry knocked out. Let's get our cavalry in to mop up the last grenadier unit although actually my cavalry is quite tired it will take some time yeah <laughs> it's obviously the second i move my cavalry away they then turn around so get them to move up as a group these units are going to mow down that unit of partisans there they go Now it's everyone hit the grenadiers. Okay, the morale temporarily went up. And then it irreversibly went down. Oh god, the general staff unit came back. You scallywag. Very well. Let's speed up time, because right now everyone's just doing the mopping up. Are a must rest a while. You men fire it well off. You men go for the general staff because they will not last very long. The men are fatigued, sir, and must rest away. I know they are, but they've killed the enemy generals. That's what matters. Excellent. So that is Castle brought under siege again. We're going to occupy the city. There we go. So you men can recover. You hold your ground here. You could hit the Spanish, but I'm intrigued to see where they go. Just a second, I've got a sneeze coming. No, I don't. I did it and it went away. Uh, right, so... Oh, there it is. Jeez. God damn it. Right, so... This militia push up to Hanover. You... Okay, let's go... You pop out of the city. Recruit a howitzer. Maybe two. Then get back inside the city. Because I think that should still carry over. And it has. Good. So in two turns those will be done and start moving down. I'm okay with the time it'll take for them to get here. Because I'm not anticipating a speedy... Well, speedy movement. Because once this army is... Once these armies have been destroyed in follow-up battles next turn, potentially... We'll have three armies to push and hit Innsbruck. And I probably want two to hit Luzerne, because one will take some time to recover in Luzerne, while the other advances south to Milan. But apart from that, everything's going okay. So you guys get over to Abo and pick up all of these men. Get over to Stockholm. So let's just keep recruiting infantry because right now we are eh, 8,000 that's not well I mean we've got a huge war chest we do want to keep expanding and upgrading things I would like to upgrade you I mean I know that's where you're going to march towards but I want I suppose I should try and destroy you although next turn that's going to get a huge amount of 
No. Actually, well, when they get... Well, they, they, we should be able to intercept them when they try pass... Or try and get around this mountain pass. To be honest, you may actually... Well, can you leave Bordeaux is the critical question. You can. Demand the surrender of Pamplona because they're... Come up there. Oh, we can definitely gonna loot it for the 13 grand. Yeah, Montpellier was raided. That's fine. But Pamplona... Let's replenish. If they go for Bordeaux, we can at least get over there in one turn. Steam-powered factory and wine estate. Good stuff. I want you guys to defeat this army here, then advance south to Pamplona. I suppose I should really just attack to get that over with sooner. And to prevent us from getting... Oh, to be honest, it's loads of cavalry. I might just auto that because we fought them before. Yeah, back towards Marseille. You men get back to Toulouse. Then Mr. Zettisberg. Attack the remaining... I know mean, it's overkill. But it prevents, as much as possible, the AI screwing us over. So let's upgrade that and then rebuild or upgrade the industrial gold mine. That's pretty big. Everything else is upgraded as far as it can get. Uh, sweet. Okay, so let's just let the recruitment carry on its natural course. At some point I'm going to want to have an army here in Finland ready to hop over and tax in Petersburg immediately. But we don't need to worry about that till we've secured the Iberian Peninsula and probably taken... Because Venice, you will have a front against Zagreb. We'll have an army at Innsbruck ready to jump onto Munich. Yeah, lots of good stuff, really. Okay, a couple of few turns to wait before we get some of our technologies done, but soon we'll be at a point where we don't need universities at all. So let's hit end turn. Our spies are continuing their push. We want to maintain that visibility on the enemy. I hope Prussia attacks them. Just because I think it would be interesting to have our allies in the field. Go on, Prussia, go sort them out. There's no territory to take. Ah, oh, they won. I was hoping that they would call us in. That's what I was hoping for. But the army to the west at Castle can attack the Spanish, because they're currently... Well, they're taking attrition now, fighting the Prussians. But they will not have the ability to uh, replenish those losses. No, you're seeking just to cross the frontier. Realistically, I need to get spies over to all of my allied quote-unquote capitals yeah the the red route one to reinforce europe hasn't been decisively closed oh so the spanish did try and attack the prussians but it didn't work spies what network established in munich so the way well it doesn't well i suppose i'm over egging the pudding somewhat i thought you know, maybe doing it in their capital gives us faction-wide intelligence, but clearly it doesn't because we don't get the intelligence on, below, on um, Barcelona or Palma. Still, we don't have any eyes on Napoleon, and now we've got to winter. Forces here will start to take attrition, so we don't want to do anything too much there. You can attack that force there just to take them out there's a couple of hidden Spanish units that we're going to destroy blip, blip. so you men aren't taking damage there so you're going to hold here for the winter before we attack uh, the Swiss we're going to repair this building here then Hubble Bengston is going to attack this Spanish army here which will hopefully draw in Mr. Villeneuve nope <laughs> very well so then let's go here and attack Mr. Villeneuve good are we calling it oh these are both ours damn I was hoping the Prussians would get involved the cowards 
let's attack this this French force here near Castle. Hopefully, I mean, I know what's going to happen. They're going to push, they're going to retreat to the north, and it's going to be incredibly frustrating. Um, but there we are. There are things you can and can't do with Empire. Well, not with Empire, with Napoleon. Uh, okay. So our 12s going to try and deploy up onto that hill and they're going to get some cavalry cover. Whereas our main line is just going to advance. Skirmishes, Foot Jaeger on the right, a couple more units of cavalry. Could deploy the 12s back there but I like them on that hill. Then let's get our howitzers to join well not there we go. To advance up the centre with the general staff behind them. Oof. They've deployed quite far up. Then again, that's their sappers. They've deployed defensive... They've empl they're employing uh, siege tactics. To be honest, my howitzers and limber. You men try and advance to a less ambitious front line. Because <laughs> it appears the enemy is just going to sit there in mass. As well as leave their right flank exposed. So the sapper is deploying stakes, 20th foot guards, just a second everyone. There we go, uh, okay. So we are beginning counter battery operations. Looks like the enemy is reacting to our movements. That's the 16th, the 7th light horse, 16th uh, chasseur à cheval. So let's get our cavalry forward to try and, or to get ready to counter them. Okay, take him out. Pivot our right, our left flank forward. Actually, you guys are going to advance like so to one side of that tricksy little siege device. Another one of you are going to advance up. Cavalry's on the way, but we're going to drop into squares before they do anything too sneaky. Yeah, they've elected to try to retreat towards one of our units in square. Yeah, their, their artillery's doing work, but they've left it exposed now. Pull the cavalry back. Get the infantry out of squares. Howitzers, focus fire the left flank. 12 pounders might want a bit more elevation. To be honest, let's get our cavalry over there quicker because our infantry are about to outpace our cavalry. Aha! Heavy cavalry. Are they heavy cavalry? Curassier, gros, gros frere. You men charge up to knock out the guns. Because I think I'm pretty darn sure we can knock them out without causing. There we go. Get them out of there. Get them out of there.
The rest of the action is going fairly according to plan. Get my general back out of the way. Our men are running, sir. Yeah, fair enough. You are getting shot by your own guys. So my infantry force on this flank hasn't been able to get their firepower to bear. Kept my heavy cavalry in good condition. You hit this light foot unit. Big bundle of French cavalry. So if you guys run away, can you cease to be engaged? There we go. That's a cavalry unit defeated. There you go. The lifeguard are now... They're no longer being engaged. So I can now form square. You've advanced on into the fourth light foot. And the general's staff is there as well. All that cavalry is getting sucked into square engagements, or squ square formations. Let's push my horse guards up just to hit the 12th horse, 12th regiment of horse a bit harder. My 12s are not going to likely get involved. Especially as all this cavalry is about to bite the dust. And the enemy generals looking increasingly unhealthy. The sapper have been knocked out. My 12s try and engage the infantry legere. My light cavalry returned. Can you guys also deploy into a square formation. Yeah, the this second regiment of second regiment of horse, the Bad Leash Dragonier Don Freest. I can only imagine is how you pronounce that. Enemy general, general's been killed. Their cavalry has left the field. So let's get our infantry up into the action. Should you go after that fourth light foot unit? You go after the 24th horse guards. We're probably going to kill a number of their cavalry from them trying to route through our lines. 12 attack the light foot. The Lightfoot Infanterie Legere. They want to kick up a fuss, then we can bayonet charge them. Get my horse guards up, because the 12th the the Regiment of Horse Guards are coming back. Recover my Light Infantry. My Light Cavalry is advancing up as well. Let's get my General over here quickly. Just to make sure nothing untoward happens. Put over a volley into the infantry legere. Some of their cavalry is dying from routing through my lines, which is perfect. The Voltageur are losing to my lifeguard. Okay, let's continue the ethos of manoeuvre to destruction. There you go. Combine all my cavalry together to knock out the 12th light horse in one last decisive move. Diego's advancing, so you've got a line infantry unit here. My lifeguards are advancing. Yeah, one of his staff staff officers have been killed. Let's knock out their last heavy cavalry unit.
There we go. Could carry on chasing down some of these units, but it's a bit pointless, really. And it takes ages. So this regiment of foot, you men get into position rapidly to do a huge amount of damage. 12 pounder can... Yeah, you can continue fire fairly reliably. So the Voltageur are now experiencing a few casualties. Forty second regiment of foot, the Legia Nad Willis Nad Wis Lanska. Uh, guess, guessing is how you pronounce that. They look pretty good. But they're losing men rapidly. They gained an experience, Chevron. Good for them. My infantry has yet to gain experience. My cavalry's all got some good experience. I oh know my foot Jaeger actually, they've got they got an experience unit. Experience Chevron. Okay, now you're engaging the thirtieth, you're actually shooting where you should be. So let's maintain that concept of Maneuver to destroy. Because now the voltage are going to be fired upon from three directions. interesting that the 41st are now starting to waver. There we go, there go the Voltagers. So get a few free kills. How it's a ceasefire. And my 12s can ceasefire. Let's just let the infantry carry on. This Finske Infeldat. Indelat, not in Infeldat. There you go, this last unit of Voltage. Experienced men. And now they're getting shot down. And there goes the French army with no help from the Prussians. It must be noted. But there we go. Let's hope they either... They might get destroyed, actually. They've only got 92 men left. Obviously, they run north. But I have a clump of militia to run forward and probably die. <laughs> they won. That was a bit... I doubted the thing's a bit there. Well, there we go. So now we have... Okay, so you're, you can cover... Castle. You, Mr. Bengston can push up onto the Schwerin front. We're going to need a lot of firepower. Actually, no, your job was to go south to help fight this engagement here. My spies are on the, are continuing on the move. Upgrade you to a banking house. We can get more troops across the front. There we go. So then you you can have all of them. Because I suspect that might... If that doesn't fill you up, it'll be close. So you've got three more infantry. So then you've got space for five more troops. So that'll be... Ah, okay, let's go. Two Finland and in Delta, two militia. The other force can hold. You get... Back to Abo. Let's add two more militia onto the docket. 
So we're at eight grand a turn. It's not bad at all. Let's not upgrade the Montpellier because it looks like they're probably going to continue pushing troops in here. So when this force is done, that's where I'm going to want them to go. Deploy to cover this bottleneck here so this army can then swing south, hit Barcelona. And then to be honest, it'll be a straight run. One army goes straight for Madrid, another army goes straight for Gibraltar, the other army goes straight for Palma. Good. Let's hit end turn. Especially as it's the winter, we can't really do much in Europe anyway. My spies continue to advance. The French are beginning to realise that time is running out. They will not be able to do their sneaky, sneaky strategies to us for very long. Once we declare war on Prussia, when the final war does happen, I believe they'll all teleport away from our lands. I think. Hmm. Don't like how they're advancing towards Spain. Blucher. Especially with a skeleton force. If you attack anywhere, I'm not going to help. Yeah, the Prussians at Munich may well advance to Innsbruck before I get there. But this is where we just end up needing to dig in elsewhere in the front. Just dig in, hold the line, and prevent the Prussians from getting too many territories that are in an awkward position. Yeah, more troops are on the move. They're now crossing the Alps, so they should start to get attrition. Yeah, you can raid away, good sir. Same as you. Oh, I thought we might get them if they try and run to the... If they try run to the... Uh, that gold mine. Building sabotaged! Gold mine. I think it's a, it's a Frenchman. Charles Louis Schulmeister. Wait a minute. Schulmeister? That sounds like one of you guys. Hmm. Yeah, you're ready. You want a force to ready to push very want you must want an army to push here, an army to push here, an army to push through here, an army to push against Munich. This is gonna start adding up. Yeah, Blucher. Let's get this force out of Toulouse just to attack and destroy that army. Chomp. 103 troops spread across the army is nothing in the grand scheme. Um, hmm, okay. Trait gained. Spy. Our spies got better at spying. Intellectual advance. We have got passports and that provides bo bo boosts uh, the number of spies we can get and also increases our counter spying ability. So you've then gone on to Grand Battery. No, go on to Mass Production. May as well. Oh no, you were going for Question Cap, sorry. Schleswig, go for Mass Production. There we go. Construction completed. Good. All this is None of this is stuff we can actually upgrade. Actually, you can upgrade the Steam Dry Dock, but I don't think it matters. I'm only upgrading it from completeness and the fact that we've got surplus units. So you men get into Stockholm. Two more units to get your last unit of Varvade. Let's recruit another general. and Let's get Heinrich Odegaard, who is aggressive. You take command of this small force and stand ready. Ready to build Cursier, Hussar, Light Dragoner, and Dragoner. 12 pounder. Two howitzers, and let's get two. Oh, we're starting to run out of. We're starting to run out of people. No. I've got rid of your unit. Oh, it's because you're fully. Right, I'm a, I'm a dum dum. This unit isn't finished recruiting. Or isn't. This recruitment queue isn't full, but the city itself is. I'm not going to go mad and start recruiting from 
Christiana or... Actually, I don't think I can recruit from anywhere else. Where would you be recruiting from? 15 turns to get here. Oh, okay, I'll recruit for Finland and then go... That's 15 turns. Still seems way too short. But that must be where you get them from. Just recruit and then run them across all of the continent back up to Stockholm. Enemy raid in the vineyards. Yeah, not a problem. I'm not going to push out because we've got a force here that may turn and attack us here at Pamplona. Another raid at Montpellier. Again, that's not a problem. So you're coming to the south. I should focus on operations against France more so than preparing for war against the Allies. At least for now. Trait gained. Remy, Rune, Rune Almquis, Confident General. Good. So he's now a four star general at the age of 21. Good stuff. Okay, one more turn to get percussion cap. Let's hit end turn. You've gone back to pick up more men. My spies on to Vienna, which I'm hoping will spur war between Austria and Russia. Can't really attack Luzerne until the winter is over. And the force that's in Stuttgart can really advance towards in Innsbruck when that happens. I don't see Napoleon on the field. It looks like Austria doesn't like the fact that Russia owns that territory. But yeah, ideally, I'd secure the Iberian Peninsula before I have to worry about fighting, potentially fighting the rest of Europe. Like I said, there's, an op there's a chance that the, the Austrians and Prussians don't join the British. And if they don't, that'd be perfect. Then we can send those armies to just gobble up Britain and then declare war on Prussia, probably. And see if they get backed up by Austria and Russia. I don't think they will. But we have to wait and see. Another Russian army on the move. Hopefully they're going to get... Some issues around attrition, although I think Russia actually might not get attrition problems in winter, maybe. Yes, Gibraltar must be taken. I'm hoping they're massing to try and attack Pamplona. It looks like they're falling back from Barcelona. More advances again. Ah, they're going to try and push through our territory. You're not. To, you're not going to take the opportunity to do some raiding. How odd. Actually, I think I know how I'm going to do this. We've still got winter to get through. So this army is now complete. So you men can leave. Take a portion of my navy up to pick them up. And then they'll deploy them somewhere here in Europe, and that'll allow me to move an army that's already fairly southern deployed. Such as this force under Mr. Roma, to advance to the centre here. So you guys are going to hop out, attack Mr. Guerrero. And I'm sending all of my troops out, because at least by applying the attrition equally, it will be solved quicker. I think that's a good idea. So Mr. Roma, Mr. Roma come down here. This force take position on the Swiss border. Then when this army's recruit well, when this army's aboard, they can transport them to here and they can run down to support this front. But now they're completed. Can you men get aboard? So get two Svea lifeguard and get a Falt Jaeger. Good. Get another General Deltov Langre. 
too bad we have no recruit need for them at the moment. So we've got Percussion Cap. Percussion Cap reduces the uh, chance of your muskets misfiring. So it means your, vo your uh, volleys become that much more effective. So they've gone back to Grand Battery. F fine. Um, three turns to mass production. Mass production is done. Recruitment report. Oh, that's all been done. You want to continue advancing down. Um, but looking at the timer, I believe times. I, I believe now is a good time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time for the next episode of my Napoleon Total War Let's Play as Sweden. It's going to be a bit of setup to go along. Oh, hello. Upgrade the industrial mining complex. There's going to be a bit of setup to be done before we can push on and take the Iberian Peninsula. Um, but things are afoot. If nothing else, things are afoot. Especially we have to be mildly concerned about this huge Prussian build-up here. Could be a bit of a bit of an issue. Um, but anyway, thanks for watching guys. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.